Hi guys, this is Creevily again with another product review. Today we are going to talk about pen pouches, but not any pen pouch. They're handmade pen pouches by Carl Morgan. The company is called Morgan Esk. Carl Morgan sits in uh, Shropshire, Shrewsbury in England. And uh, I've been in contact with him via Instagram. I've seen his the products that he he makes in Insta on on Instagram on Instagram pictures. He's also sent me a couple of his business cards um, in the in the with the pen pouches that I'm going to talk about in a minute. So here you have all his details. You can find him on Facebook as well. He does have an Etsy shop where you can where you can buy his things. I'll link that the Etsy shop um, in the details on the under the YouTube video here below and also in the accompanying blog post that accompanies this video on my website scribbly.org. So you'll find all his details there and uh, link to his Etsy shop as said where you can get his, his things. Um, Morgan Esk he makes, Carl Morgan does not only make pen pouches or sleeves, he makes all kinds of custom bespoke leather products from, uh, you know, I don't know, conference, business portfolios to notebook wrappers. Uh, he does make traveler's notebooks and all sorts of things, but I was especially interested and very intrigued by those wonderful pen cases or pen sleeves that I want to review. Today I got two different ones from him, uh, a single pen sleeve and a double pen sleeve. Um, as you can see here, this is stitched around like that and this is stitched around like that as well. Beth has another stitching here in the middle which separates a larger case into two smaller slots here. Um, I don't actually use them as pen cases naturally but also as a pencil case and I'm going to show you how I use those in a minute as we also talk about how those cases look exactly. So I got that one here in brown. You see it's a very, very beautiful brown leather. Um, the whole process on how he makes them, Carl has written me a very nice personal letter with, um, with those two cases. I'm not gonna show you the whole letter because it also contains a couple of personal notes, but um, he has actually extensively written for me how he actually does make those pen cases here or pencil sleeves that he's very proud of and I think he has all reason to be very proud of them because they're excellent products. I really, really like them. Have them since a couple of weeks. I really like them. You can pause the video here and then read through that whole process for yourself. I think it's definitely worth holding that up here into the camera for you to read the care and uh, high quality materials that Carl does put into um, these his leather products uh, or those pen cases at hand here. Um, specifically, um, as said, I'm going to show you the whole letter, but because it contains a couple of personal notes, but I've shown you the production details. So as said, and I think he also talked about what specific kind of leather this is, which at the moment I, I'm not exactly sure of. So as said, you have those stitchings here around that he then bevels and burnishes. Like first he glues them together to be held, then he stitches them, bevels them, burnishes them. You see that this is like a very, very nice quality product. You, you see the quality of the stitching here. Very, very nice. I carry those with me on basically a daily basis since a couple of weeks ever since I have them. This leather here already starts developing some nice patina. Patina one sees it on this leather here because it's nice and brown. I really really like that. So essentially it's a very simple case and I use that. That is uh, um, has a closes like that. You see the leather inside is very very soft, very nice. Uh, it's it's originally meant to be a single pen sleeve and it does take also quite large pens like you can put a, a Lamy All-Star into it or something like that. That here carries a Lamy Lux and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so it takes large pens but what I find very very nice about that and that's what I use that for. I use that one here to carry pencils actually because I often have no good solution on how to carry just one or two pencils with me. That holds only one pencil as well. You can carry only one or you can carry two of them. 
I find it's extremely nice because actually when that leather pen sleeve here comes, it's so tight that if you, if you, if you don't, you know, expand it with a large pen so that it maybe will stay expanded or something like that, and I've never used that with a large fountain pen, I've just used it as a pencil sleeve from scratch as a pencil case, and I really love to carry my Blackwing pencils with that because it just looks super classy. It stays very, very flat, very nice, very pocketable and all that. Looks very nice. And my pencil tips are uh, actually protected. I've, I've never had a pencil tip uh, uh, breaking in here. So that's something that I really like. So I find that single pen sleeve, I forgot to talk about the price. The single one costs 28. That is British pounds. Uh, and the double just adds a little for 35 pounds. You get a double. The double, I got a black one. Also here you see the excellent finish. I've not carried that around as much as I've carried that around. So that's why this has not yet picked up its nice leather patina. But I'm sure this is going to develop over time. Also that material, very nice to touch. Very, very lovely leather. I really like that as well. And uh, I actually made this uh, a winning combination for me because I use one slot for a pen. And you see it perfectly accommodates a Lamy Lux with is which is a quite large pen and if I put it all the way back in it's now all the way down until here um yeah you could probably even fit a slightly longer and chunkier pen in here as well but I mean honestly the Lamy Lux already is a quite large pen uh another large pen is a Twisby Echo let's put in a Twisby Echo you see no problem whatsoever accommodates a Twisby Echo perfectly as well and the pen just fits in very, very nicely. Lays in there like on a bed of roses. Let me put my Lamy Lux back in here. Yeah, and, and also I carry two pencils in here. You see that is still a little tighter than this one because I've actually, so those slide out slightly easier because I've used that for, yeah, as I said, a couple of weeks now on almost a daily basis. So that here, not used that much. That's mostly on my night desk, I have to say, because, you know, I mean, I just have, uh, I often just have on my night desk, I have my, or when I'm out and about, I have my traveler's notebook. And then I throw this, this package here into my backpack and I find that very nice because, yeah, I have one fountain pen with me and I have two pencils with me in case one pencil uh, tip breaks or I forgot to sharpen one of them. Um, these are just now two different pencils, a hand sharpened one and one that is sharpened with the actual pencil sharpener. So yeah, very nice, very nice product. Looks great. Cut like this, shaped like this so that it slides easy into that, into that uh, closing unit here. Has the Morgan-esque logo embossed on it same here but it's very very subtle if you have that on your on your desk or on a, if you're in a meeting you know like you see that it's a branded a brand product or you see the the product brand on it a little bit but it's not too too much in your face i find so i really really like those leather products i find they are made very well you can really feel the quality. This is very nice made, thick leather. The finish is really nice. The stitching is really nice, really feels substantial in the hand. Uh, I think the price around 30 bucks for, for either one of them, 28 and 35 bucks to be precise, that was British pounds, is a really fair price for for such great products and uh yeah i hope i hope this review was, was helpful to you i really love those two products um i'm going to continue to use them a lot more and uh yeah if if you need a nice solution for carrying pencils or maybe as said um look for a bespoke leather case for a notebook or something like that i'd highly suggest to for you to check out carl morgan um yeah i hope this review was useful to you and i'll see you at the next review Bye-bye.